So I want to see them punished. I want to see them punished. They punished me, and I'm still hurting. An 83-year-old beating victim stands up to his attackers as he watches one of them go down for the crime. WLWT was the first to introduce you to Elmo Booth after he was beaten and robbed inside his Middletown home. Well, today he was back in court as the first of the three suspects was sentenced. WLWT News Vice Karen Johnson was in the courtroom today and has more. Karen? And Cherie, I want to see them put away. That's what Elmo Booth told me seven months ago, right after the attack. And today he sat in the courtroom gallery as the first of three defendants was sentenced to seven years in prison. A front row seat for sentencing. Elmo Booth wouldn't have it any other way. I won't be here. I won't be here. Why? Because yeah. I want to see him punished. I want to see him punished. They punished me, and I'm still hurting. Elmo can barely raise his left arm. As, as I raise it. A permanent injury, he says, from the beating he took during a home invasion. Back in October, Kyle Peck, Russell Bumgardner, and Robbie Tester broke into Elmo's Middletown house, beat him, and burglarized his home. Today in court, the 83 year old shook his head as Bumgardner apologized. Fighting for a lesser sentence, his attorney, David Washington, said Bumgardner wasn't the primary offender and never touched Elmo. He got Robbie off of him, he had him in a chuck hole. He took him off of him. If one man for my son, he would be dead. Elmo says that story is a lie. He lied a lot. He said he pulled put his name off of him. He didn't do it. No. He just kicking me in the shoulders and kicked me in the hips and stuff. How this other guy was choking me. Bumgarner was sentenced to seven years in prison. Elmo says his heart goes out to Bumgarner's father and mother, who is dying of cancer, even shook their hands as they left court. But Elmo says the three men need to pay for what they did. And now that one is headed to prison. Yeah, I'm going to beer now. <laughs> I'm going to drink a beer. <laughs> And also today, Kyle Peck pleaded guilty to aggravated burglary. He'll be sentenced on June 22nd, the same day that Robbie Tester will be sentenced. And Elmo says he'll be here that day as well. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. Investigators say drug money was the motive behind the aggravated burglary. The defendant stole Elmo's hearing aids, a can of change, and a television, which police say they sold for heroin.